What's going on guys? We're back. Another YouTube video. I told you guys we're getting back on top of it and I'm trying my absolute hardest. But this has to be my most requested video like of all time and that is my entire full sneaker collection. Every single pair of shoes that I have. And I do this about every year because that's like when I think it's needed. Because a lot of the times I'll sell a whole bunch of pairs and I'll buy a whole bunch of pairs or I'll sell like 10 pairs to get like one big money pair. So it's been about a year and this is my entire sneaker collection. All right, sit back, buckle up. This is probably gonna be a pretty lengthy video. I don't, like, where do I start? So, first up to bat, we got these Jordan 4 Mist Blues. I hunted for these for a very, very, very long time. And a piece of the midsole literally just fell off. These are from 2006. Uh, I looked literally everywhere for this shoe. I, I was hunting for this shoe for well over two, three years. And I finally got them for a decent price. I think I paid like 120 bucks for them. And the very first time I wore them, this happened. So I'm still trying to get these sole swap, uh, but it's a little bit tricky because you can't just go buy a regular Jordan 4, slap the sole on. I want to wear these so bad. And I don't think there's any rumor, any chance of like a retro anytime soon. So. Definitely need to get these done because nobody has these. Nobody has these, nobody wears these. So that's why I really like them. Next up, we got Bread Fours. You guys have seen these a hundred times. Uh, in my opinion, the new buck pair is way, way better than the leather pair. The reimagined pair just doesn't do it for me. For whatever reason, when I think of a Bread Four, like this is it. You know what I'm saying? Like when I, like the leather is just not it. They don't look right. I don't know. Like I, I, maybe I'm wrong, but this is it. Like this is way better. And these things have had some serious miles put on them. Next up. We got the Black Tongue Fire Red Fives. I think I got these for like 40 bucks. This is one of the shoes that I've sold and bought back probably three to four different times. For whatever reason, I just can't like escape this shoe. I love this shoe so much. I think it's so cool. And they don't have like a retro for these anytime soon. But these are from 2013. And if you can't tell, they're starting to like separate a little bit and that's not great. But hey, we're gonna keep wearing them until the sole completely falls off because I love this shoe. Next up, we got the Black Toe Jordan 1s. And this is another shoe that I hunted for for a very long time. And if you guys have been subscribed for a minute, uh, the first pair that I bought of these, I was so excited. I bought these from a store and they ended up being fake. And I literally found out on camera that they were fake. Like to be 100% honest, I was just looking at them. I don't know, bro. These might be fake. See the dotted lines around on the check replica i just got finessed with fake shoes for whatever reason people thought that it was like not legit like i was faking the video but it wasn't i was just unboxing it getting my reaction to a shoe that i've wanted for years and they ended up being fake and i was a little bit upset but we got the real pair i ended up sending the fake pair back to the store they refunded me and then i used that money to buy myself a real pair next up the jordan one chicago's uh i had the lost and founds at one point but to me these are way better than the lost and founds i had the lost and founds for a little bit but at one point i had four or five pairs of Jordan 1 Chicago's so I had to I had to get rid of something but these are the 2015 pair uh, I love this pair to death and this was like my biggest all-time grail forever I think I, I don't even remember how much I paid for these oh I got a pair of Jordan 6 British khakis the uh, the Travis Scott pair I got those for free from a raffle from sneaker con and I traded them straight up for these so I technically got these for like free it's crazy and this is like my all-time grail shoe obviously I wear them quite a bit uh, there's mud all over them but yeah you'll see why I sold the lost and founds in a little bit next Next up, we got the 2015 Jordan 1 Chicago Lows. These are not the golf pair. Um, I ended up getting these at SneakerCon, but this shoe, for whatever reason, people buy this shoe used for like seven to $900. Brand new, people pay like 1,500 for these, which is absolutely crazy. These were in the Nike outlet at one point. Um, I paid less than 400 for these, but I love the Jordan 1 Chicago's. This is my favorite shoe of all time. So of course I have to have the high tops and the low top. Then we got black cement threes. Can't really go wrong with this. I never really wear these that much. For whatever reason, I don't, I haven't been wearing like all black shoes. Funny story on these, I got whacked over the head on these. I paid like 475 or like $500 in LA for these. I traveled and I, for whatever reason, when I travel, I feel like I need to spend money. And so I bought those for ridiculously overpriced. And then I had to leave the box in LA. I literally was just shredding up the box into little pieces and left it in my hotel. Next up, Lance Mountains. I like these a lot. A lot of people don't know that Jordan 1 SBs actually exist and uh, this is one of them. And I actually acetoned all the white paint off this myself. For those of you who don't know, they come all white. So I acetoned them off. I fried the living 
out of my hands. Yeah, I think they look pretty cool, but I never wear them because they're like mix match. I don't know. Next, Lightning Force. Everybody knows these. Everybody's seen these. They're whatever. I sold this shoe and I've also bought it back, but I never wear them because they're all yellow. Mom Mom in your threes. This is an absolute banger. I love this shoe. I actually wore this shoe to a wedding. This is like one of those shoes that I, I can never see myself getting rid of because they're like, they're neutral. They go with everything and they're baller. Next up, we got these Cacao Dunks. Uh, I haven't really wore these that much, but I like these. I think these are the only Dunks that I have in my collection. Take that back. I have a pair of Nike Dunk Strange Loves that I got the other day and I don't have them with me because I'm getting them professionally clean because I don't trust myself to clean that with like the velvet on them. This is the only dunks I have right now. I have my other pairs being worked on as we speak, but I wish I had the Strange Loves for this video because it'd be a lot cooler. So we got Fire Red 3s. Uh, these are amazing. I waited on these forever to retro and so I like these a lot. I wear these a lot. These are tight. Travis, everybody's seen these. Uh, I have dogged these out. Like if you can like see, I don't know. I've dogged these things out and I got hunks of the leather missing on them. Yeah, I paid like $980 for these, so I'm definitely getting my money's worth because I like those a lot. Union 4s, they have stuff all over them. I think I wore these to like the club or something. I did, yeah. Yeah, Union 4s, uh, I got these for cheap, like 380. They're like 800 brand new. I like these a lot, wear them a lot. It's a pair that I never wear. Uh, bread toe ones. I Funny story, I actually traded a pair of Yeezy Zebras straight up for these. Like back in the day when the Yeezys were a lot more expensive. Yeezy Zebras, traded them straight up for these. And at one point these were going for like $700. We got the cream and the muslin pair. The cream and the black pair, off-white fives. Um, I actually wear these a lot, a lot, especially these. Every trip I go on, I always bring these because they go with everything and they're pretty much bulletproof. They don't get dirty, they don't get beat up, nothing. Like I've never cleaned these and I have worn these to the ground, but they still look cool. UNC threes. I got these for pretty cheap. Uh, I never really wear them, but they're all right. They're cool. Then we got Military Blues. I got these for 120 bucks on Facebook Marketplace. This is probably my best Facebook Marketplace deal. Um, I love these. I cannot wait. When the new pair comes out, I need at least two or three pairs because this pair is about to give out. Like the fading on there, like the cream, like that looks, that looks fire. Like they look like an older shoe. Then we got the Voodoos. Uh, this is another pair of shoes I wear a lot. These give me the same vibe as these. And so I wear these a lot, a lot. And this is also like one of the most common complimented shoes. Like whenever I wear these, random people stop me and they're like, yo, those are hard. Or yo, I like your shoes or whatever. So yeah, whenever I need a little confidence boost, I wear these and people always, always say something about them. Then we got white cement threes. I wear these a lot, a lot too. Um, I actually bought this shoe four different times because if you have these, you know, the sizing is really weird. Uh, I wear an 11 in just about everything on the wall. I bought these in an 11, a 10, and a 10 and a half, and I think another 11 because the elephant print was all messed up on them. So yeah, I bought this shoe three or four times just to get my correct size. I don't know, the sizing was all kinds of wonky. Union, reverse weave, or union weave, I think is what they're called, I don't know. Bethany Beauty Supplies? I don't know, I'm a high beast. These are gas. I've made a hundred videos when it comes to this shoe. This shoe is fire. This is the best shoe you can get for under 250. Am I wrong, Big Al, behind the camera? I mean, I wear mine every day. Every, like, dude, these are it. I don't know why, I don't know what about these. These are fire, fuego. And the quality on them is gangster. Another pair that I hunted for for a very long time. Uh, when I say hunted, I'm cheap. I don't like to spend like a lot of money. So when I'm hunting, I'm like looking for a shoe for like a steal or like really, really cheap. I ended up trading a whole bunch of free stuff that I've got from working with brands. Like sometimes brands, when I do like brand work or anything like that, they'll send me like a free pair of shoes. And so I traded a whole bunch of stuff that I got for free for these instead of paying like 1500 for them. Cause it's crazy. <sighs> Speaking of free shoes, I actually got these gifted to me from uh, Travis Scott team, which was crazy. A lot of people thought that video was completely cap and I don't know, it doesn't make sense to me, but um, I actually got these as a gift from Cactus Jack. I was very, 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 very excited and confused on why they would, I don't know. But I have these and uh, I don't really know when these are coming out, but I like these a lot and I have been wearing these quite a bit because nobody has them. But yeah, everybody was like, oh, those are fake, those are fake. Like there's no way that they would, I like, trust me, I didn't believe it either. Yeah, it is what it is. Yeah another pair of Nike SB Jordan 1s. For whatever reason, people don't know that Jordan 1s are SBs too, like sometimes, I don't know. These are the Eric Costin uh, UNC Lows and little cool little hidden detail on there. If you look, Eric Costin is known for doing cool stuff. Check it out, $24.99, pretty cool. Uh, people have tried to buy these off me a hundred times and I won't sell them because I like them. Oh, we already did those. We're gonna get to the big dogs in a second, like the, the case and everything. Yeah, we'll get to that in a sec. Got these Starfish Lows. I like these. I never wear these, but when I do wear them, I enjoy them. I think I kind of got rinsed for these though. 
a sneaker con. I think I paid like 130, 140 bucks. You can get them brand new for that price and I got them used, so whatever, it's cool. Probably the most commented shoe that I've ever got on TikTok. It seems like every video that I post, they ask what these are. These are the Jordan 4 Fears or Jordan 4 Fear Pack, whatever you want to call it. These are about to retro too, so I might have to get rid of these. This is another shoe that I hunted for for a very long time. They're honestly too big for me, but I got them for a mega steal and I couldn't pass them up. So a little double sock action won't hurt nobody. And we got Soulfly, Jordan 1 Lows. I got these for really, really cheap. This is a sleeper. This is another shoe that I wear when I like go out. Like when we're about to go, I don't know, like go out somewhere, go out to like club or something. Like this is it, like this right here with the cheetah on the toe are you crazy for whatever reason people don't like this shoe it has a cork insole got big swoosh on it with like hair I, like these are gangster i don't like i don't know i don't know why people don't like these these are fire i like them then we got great fives uh once again if you've been following me for a while you know this is the sneaker that got me into sneakers this is the very first pair of jordans i ever got uh, i got these when i was like 12 or 13 uh, i was in seventh grade but yeah i begged my dad to buy these on ebay for me for christmas he paid like 270 bucks no box and they were used but i purposely bought these in a whole size up so that if i grew then i would be able to wear them and keep them and i have this is the original pair that i've had since i was like 12 years old i don't know i kind of gotta like give it up to this shoe because without this shoe we wouldn't be here which is crazy to think about i was that guy in middle school i would like duck walk you know so i didn't crease the shoes that was me that was literally me and i swear on everything when i wore these i would come home and i would immediately deep clean them every single time i wore them i would deep clean them the second i took them off my feet that's how much i love this shoe and i still love this shoe and i used to watch fresh prince when i was younger and like this is like fresh prince of bel-air vibes i don't know these are oh i could talk about these forever then we got white cement jordan fours banger not really a whole lot to say about these this is these are come on like you you like right out like you kind of have to have these in your arguably collection the best four of all time arguably the best jordan four but um yeah you can't like you can't really have a sneaker collection without these and you can get these used for really cheap and in my humble opinion i think these are the top three best jordan fours of all time i don't know i these are definitely number one no like hands down these are number one next up we got another pair of unions. These are the Union AJKO Lows. I don't know why this is another shoe that like I feel like everybody should have. These are cool. Uh, I kind of wish I didn't get the canvas pair because I scuffed them pretty bad. But uh, the swoosh has come off. This is a banger. You can get these for like 80 bucks. Like what? And then we got the bread Jordan 1 Lows. This is the like OG pair from yeah 2014 or 2014 or 15. Big swoosh, bread Lows, banger. These things are absolutely smoked though. Like I need to clean them bad, but they're cooked for a reason. I had the bread highs, like the regular Jordan 1 band or breads. I had those. I had the satin ones and I also had the patent bread Jordan 1 highs and I sold everything but these. That's one of my favorite things about buying sneakers is like, you can always sell them like when you need money or me, like whenever I buy a pair of shoes, I like to sell something just so it's like, I'm not coming out of pocket as much. Or like if I buy a $300 pair of shoes, I'll try to sell a $300 pair of shoes just so I'm not like dipping into my bank account. I'm just kind of like cycling. At the end of the day, this is way too much, like way too many pairs of sneakers for me to like actually wear. So whenever I buy something, I always like to downsize. And I'm also going to Japan uh, here in like a few weeks. So I just booked that ticket, all that money to go to Japan for like 10 days. So I'm probably going to offload a bunch of these pairs. Then we have, what are these? The Jim Red Jordan ones. I think I got these for a hundred bucks. This is a deal too. I have wore these things into the ground. This is another sleeper, by the way. A lot of people don't even know this shoe exists. Yeah. These used to sit on the Foot Locker shelf like they would sit on discount but yeah 100 bucks can't go wrong wave runners i only got three pair of yeezys in my collection this is one of them and i never ever wear these this might be a pair i'm gonna sell in the future but yeah i don't wear these that much but i think these are cool they're nice to have in your collection also i have no insoles in them because nobody told me that they run small and i hit on them for retail which is like 300 retail which is crazy and then i had to take the insoles out because they don't fit very well and now i'm kind of screwed then we got another sleeper the elephant print lows uh, I threw some like cottony fuzzy laces in there. These are a banger. People, uh, people sleep on these too. I like these a lot. Now we get into the case. These are the big dogs. These are the expensive ones, I guess. I don't know. Everybody always asks like, what's the most expensive pair of shoes? What's the most you've ever spent? It's in this case. So first off, we got the UNC, what? UNC Off-White Jordan 1. When you think of the word hype beast, this is probably the shoe that comes to your mind. Look how clean they are. Like they're dirty, but like, 
Ah, they're clean. I never ever, like ever wear these. I think I paid 1400 for these, which was like, now that's not a good price at the time it was, but I bought these when I got my 100,000 subscriber plaque. This came in at the same week that I did a fundraiser. I actually did a fundraiser for a children's hospital in Kansas City. So for World Cancer Day, me and one of my good friends who's a painter, he's an artist, we made a portrait of Virgil Abloh and we raffled it off for like, uh, I think the lowest you could use like a dollar a piece. And we took all the money, we made a few thousand dollars, we took it to the children's hospital. We got wish lists for all the cancer unit kids at the hospital, the children's hospital. It was cool. I've never done like a fundraiser. I've done something like that with my platform before. To be able to raise a few thousand dollars to take to a children's hospital for cancer and the portrait was of Vir Virgil Abloh. And then this comes in the same week. Like, I don't know. I, I bought this as like a, a little pat on the back for myself for for the plaque and for doing something cool. Like, I don't know, I've never done a fundraiser and I wanna do one again, it was pretty fun. And when I say the prices, I'm not like flexing the prices. Uh, I'm not flexing how much money I spend on sneakers. I'm just, I know some people are probably curious uh, how much I paid or whatever. So I, I buy a lot of my stuff used. So that's why the prices are a little bit cheaper than like brand new on StockX. Next up, we have my all time grail. A lot of people ask me like, what's your all time grail? What's your favorite sneaker? What's like your, your grail, right? These right here, not even a question. People are like, like, oh, my grails, Nike Air Mags or whatever. No, these are way cooler than the Air Mags. Come on now. Original 1985 Jordan 1s. They're wearable and they're completely original. They've never been repainted. Nothing, original laces, sole, everything. This shoe has been untouched for almost 40 years. And without this sneaker right here in 1985, none of these sneakers would even be a thing. So like, to me, this is the coolest sneaker in the world. This is my grail because like, this is the sneaker that started everything. This shoe is like double as old as me. The only downside is they stink really, really bad. Trust me, it's not my own feet, but like the shoe is like literally disintegrating. So they don't smell good at all. And that's why I don't really wear them, but I need to wear them before they fall apart. Next up, uh, Air Yeezy Ones. I bought these with the sole completely crumbled on them. I think it was like seven or 800 bucks. I got these um, and then I got them sole swap. So now we have a fresh, crispy sole on there. Look how clean they are. Yeah, Yeezy Ones. These are so gangster. I have a big, massive collection of like old Kanye West t-shirts. So I feel like I had to have these. These are cool. They're weird on your feet. Like when you wear them, they're like chunky, high top. Like, I don't know, they're just funky. But um, I like these a lot and they glow in the dark and they're so cool. And this is what the original sole uh, looks like. This is a piece of the sole. There's no save in that. So we had to get them resold. And then we got Off-White Jordan 4s everybody's favorite Jordan 4s. Um, I have completely smoked these into the ground. These actually clean up decently nice. I usually pay somebody to clean them because I'm too scared to. Yeah, I'm like I said earlier, I'm going to Japan uh, in April and I think I'm gonna bring these with me because I like these a lot. Oh, also another funny story with these. Uh, I did a Manscaped ad, like a, I did a deal for Manscaped and I used their like, <laughs> their body trimmer on the shoes. So I actually trimmed up all the little like loose frays with the Manscaped like grooming, I don't know. Like I thought it was funny. It was a cool video, cool deal. That's one of the favorite, I guess my favorite memory with this is me and Alex in my old one bedroom apartment, like thinking of what we can do for a Manscaped brand deal. And that's what we came up with. Uh, and I think I paid like, what, 800 bucks for these? I think 800. And then we're gonna speed run a bunch of these because yeah, this video is gonna be like an hour long. These are actually made out of recycled toys. Uh, people laugh every time I say this, but these are really, really comfortable. I surprisingly actually wear these. They're, they're so like, they like fit your feet so good. They're so comfortable, but like, it's a little funky. A company sent these to me, but it's, it's funky knowing like what they're made of, but they're cool. They're a conversation starter. We got St. John Dunks. These things are absolutely obliterated. Like, I mean, look, come on now. Heel drag, <sighs> brother, look at that. Check that out. Then we got uh, these pair of fake Prestos that uh, I bought for 50 bucks. I wasn't sure if they were real or not. So I bought them for 50 and they ended up being fake. So I tie dyed them. They kind of came out good, kind of not really. Yeah, I don't ever wear these. I don't wear fake shoes, but they're cool to have. Air Forces, nobody cares about those. These, we got Heelys. Crazy, Heelys sent me an unreleased pair of Heelys. Isn't that nuts? I don't know. These are cool. I like these a lot. I have these too. Uh, I bought these a few years ago to wear them to sneaker con. I made a video wearing Heelys to sneaker con and Heelys saw it and they sent me an unreleased pair. So thank you Heelys. I'm probably gonna hurt myself on these. Mischief, super normals. 
We got some custom Daniel Liu shoes. These are cool. Then we got Nike Vimeros. Uh, I've been wearing these every day. I already made a video on these, but yeah. Recap, uh, I was a huge hater on this shoe and then I bought them. And then now these are like my favorite shoes ever. Been going to the gym and these have been my gym shoes. So that was probably the stupidest thing I've ever said. <laughs> that was so dumb. Neutral gray, Jordan 1s. Um, I got these for like 180 bucks. The 85 cut Jordan 1s, you cannot beat these up if you tried. Like they're like, I don't know, like the leather they use on them, you cannot tear them up. Sturdy. Uh, Air Max 1s, uh, I think they're anniversary red is the color way. But uh, fun fact, this is a retro of the first ever Air Max shoe to ever come out, if you didn't know. That's why, this is like the Jordan 1 Chicago of the Air Max world. Another little honorable mention, they're kind of gross, but uh, these Kizix, uh, they're like slip-on shoes. These, I don't know if you guys watch my TikToks or not, like TikToks or Instagram Reels. I am wearing these in like every single video. If you look like, if you look close enough, like, like the heel, go right on. These are one of the most comfortable shoes I have. And uh, thank you Kizik for sending me these cause I, it's probably my most worn shoe in the past year. Then we got uh, foam runners. Everybody knows about these. Uh, this is my second pair. Cause the first pair I had, I blew a hole clean in the bottom. So I had to get another pair. Then we got uh, these custom Puma Nesquicks. Uh, I actually made these myself at SneakerCon. All right, camera battery just died. So we gotta be quick now. We got another pair of uh, Nesquik shoes that I custom made myself. I actually dyed these uh, <laughs> yellow with milk too. Yep. So, or I dyed them pink with milk. Then we got these absolute stinkers. Dude, look at that. Can you tell how gross they are on camera? Like, <laughs> these. These are gross, brother. Uh, I wear these like every day and uh, I wear these on my motorcycle too. I ended up ripping the netting. Yeah, can't go wrong with these black military fours. And then I just recently got these, these SoFlo Kizos. Uh, you're about to see. I'm a pretty big fan of Kizos owner or co-owner, Jake Polino. He's one of my good friends. And so anything Kizo, you guys know that I rock with. Then we got a whole nother wall of stuff. Uh, I have my boxes that I save. Uh, so when I get a pair of shoes sent in the mail, I always save the box. So if I sell anything, I can use that box to ship it. We got these Columbia 4s that I got for 30 bucks on Facebook Marketplace. Uh, another pair, Mischief Super Normals. These Teddy Bear Kizos. I have not wore these yet, but these are fire. New Balance 2002Rs. Uh, I never really wear these, but I wore these for a little bit, probably like two months straight. Uh, I, that's my thing. I will wear a pair of shoes for like a month straight and then never wear them again. I don't know, that's just me. Yeezy 350, what are these called? Just black, black static, something like that. Yeah, these things are gross. Uh, I've had these for a very long time. I've had these since Yeezys were cool, okay? If that says anything. Another pair of Kizos, these were all denim and I bleached them and dyed them myself. Another pair of Kizos, these are the prisms. These are cool. I need to bust these out one day. Another pair of Kizos, lightning pair. And then we got the dropout Kizos. These are fuego. I like these a lot. I actually wear these quite a bit too. I had the real big red boots. I had the real big red boots and I had the, the, the black boots too. I had both of them. Uh, ended up selling them because they're completely not a comfortable shoe to wear. The fake big red boots. I bought these on the TikTok shop for like 18 bucks. Uh, I bought them in a size 11 and they're like a size seven or eight. They don't even begin to fit, but I think they're funny. These things are like they're so bad. They feel like those children's like play mats that you put on the ground that you like, like you like pop them together. These are terrible trash. Don't buy these. Terrible. And you never know when they're on the right feet either. And honestly, I think that might be it. There's definitely like I have like Yeezy slides and like I have a whole big box of stuff when I was moving just like beater pairs I never wear. Like, I don't know, like Vans, beater pairs, like stuff. I don't know. The majority of like the cool stuff, this is it. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's like my entire sneaker collection minus probably like 10 pairs, but they're like, you don't really care about that. Like, I know you guys watching don't care. Like they're, they're not cool. But yeah, it's pretty crazy. I don't know how long this video is going to be. It might be like 10 minutes. It might be 45. I don't know. Uh, before we wrap this up, I just want to say uh, there's a few of these merch tees left, probably like five or six. Uh, I'm in the works right now of the next round of merch. I can't really say anything about it because I mean, out behind the camera, they're pretty fire, right? They're fire. I'm super excited. I cannot wait. The spring summer drop uh, of the next merch drop. Oh my. It is like, I, I, I don't know how to explain it. It's it's so good. And I hate even calling it merch because to me, it's not merch. Like I make all these designs myself. I print them here locally in Kansas City. I package ship everything up myself. I do everything completely by myself. It's not something that I just like have done in like China. And then when you guys order it, they come from China. No, like I am going, buying the t-shirts, driving them to the print shop, getting them printed, bringing them home. And I'm doing everything myself, like packing, shipping, everything. But it's something I really like doing. And just, I can't wait for you guys to see these next designs. But that being said, guys, that's pretty much it for today's video. My entire sneaker collection. If you guys haven't already, like, 
comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I post because I try to post a short every single day and then uh, YouTube videos, I'm aiming for like one or two a week. So yeah, stay up to date with that. That being said, I love you guys so, so, so much and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.